So the top three challenges that I'm facing as a retailer is the increase in delivery cost to the business. So um, that's exactly the same deliveries as last year, but the fees that have been introduced by retailers. The second challenge we've got is from December 22, the current quotes for our electricity is 70 pence a unit day rate. I'm not viable at that. Doesn't matter how much extra hours I do. Um, that would be the main concern. And the third one as a business, we want to go forward and we have an amazing tip top team and um, we only recruit, it seems to me, um, every other year currently because people stay with us because we treat, um, hopefully we treat them really well and we pay a fair wage. That is going to be increasingly challenged and one of the areas that we look at going forward. Hi, my name is Dylan Patel. I'm the franchisee here at Welcome Staple Group in partnership with the Southern Cooperative. We are one of many rural stores that provide a lifeline to our customers through the provision of everyday essentials and a range of services. The post office is an integral part of our store. It provides many services, including meeting the banking needs of our elderly customers. A major investment this year has been the implementation of our electronic shelf edge labels that have increased efficiency, reduced our overall carbon footprint, and allow our teams more time to meet their customers' needs. I would urge policymakers to review their plans on business rates to help local businesses such as ours. With increased overheads coupled with rising inflation, we need the support more than ever. Hi, I'm Fiona Malang from Tembley Stores and Post Office. Our aim here is to provide a supportive, reliable and professional solution to many of our locals' needs. Our customers look to us as a one-stop shop in many areas of their lives. Not just our post office services and our grocery shopping, but many look upon us as a lifeline. We're a focal hub within our community, just like many rural shops up and down the country. The ever-changing landscape of our towns and villages, the access to cash is affected by the closures of banks and ATMs, and this can leave many in a vulnerable position. The local rural shop and post office provides help with this and so much more. This contribution needs to be supported, the help with energy costs and business rates being just two areas for consideration, and this will allow our business to continue to help the most vulnerable in our society.